Cooper, congrats on a terrific game uh, this past Friday. You guys 52-35 uh, over Buford, and now, uh, man, all of a sudden, here we are, one win away from playing for a lower state title, and it's kind of happened quickly, hasn't it? Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's been sudden. I mean, we've been just grinding since summer, doing workouts, putting in all the work, so I feel highly that we should be here. And it really shows what we've been doing over the summer and all the work we've been putting in. And I'm glad we're here. Give me a little scouting report on North Myrtle Beach. I'm sure you've looked at lots of video with them. And tell me what they do defensively and what you guys are, are going to need to do well to, to have the results you're looking for. Um, they play good defense. They're quick. And they all fly to the ball. So I think we just need to stick to what we've been doing the last few weeks, start with just tearing the ball out and then get the runs, pounding them at the end. And that's what worked for us really well. I was going to say that one thing that you guys have definitely done the last few weeks is the offense has really been scoring points. I mean, that's the name of the game, obviously. And uh, you guys have been clicking yourself. Uh, I think this past Friday, about 17 for 20, 240 yards passing, ran for another 50, passed for two, ran for two touches. Uh, you've got things really going. And in addition to that, you've got along with a two-headed monster quarterback because when Trad comes in, you guys don't skip a beat. Talk a little bit about how this offense has, at the right time of the year here in the playoffs, just turned into a real dangerous machine. Um, it's been really nice having two QBs that who can just step in and not skip a beat. And it's good knowing that when you're out on the sideline and the other QBs in that you're really confident that you're going to score. And it also helps when you have a really good defense who gives you the ball back really quick. And that's what we ask for. They just make really good stops and we just come out and score is pretty much just what we do. I want to ask you about something that Coach has told me about since the preseason. And he said that if you needed to be a full-time, like outside linebacker or safety, he said you could be all you could be as good as anybody in the region, as good as anybody around. Um, Obviously, because being a quarterback, don't want to get you hurt. You're not getting a chance to play as much D at this point that you'd like. But you were telling me a few minutes ago, man, you'd love to be out there hitting people, right? Yes, sir. I played safety last year, so they threw me in. I, I wouldn't really skip a beat either, but it's just playing where they ask me. And it's really fun to know that coaches want you playing as many places as you can. So. I know it's great scoring touchdowns, passing for touchdowns, but it's also nice when you when you when you got like the big hit award that you guys have here. When you really bury somebody, uh, out of the two, which do you enjoy doing the most? Um, I like offense, but defense has just got a whole another whole another feel to it, just because you get to hit people on offense. The only way you really get to hit somebody is like trucking somebody. <laughs> right. I don't really do that because I'm not the biggest person in the world, but uh, defense is really fun. And it's just, I wish I could play both ways, but it's just how it works. Well, being a quarterback, that's what happens, man. <laughs> you got to keep you healthy. Well, congrats on a uh, on a terrific run. Keep it up. Uh, obviously, coming up, you've got North Myrtle Beach coming in here on Friday, and we look forward to talking to you guys next week, hopefully, as you prepare for the lower state championship. And congratulations, you, along with one of your teammates, you're this week's Chapin CC's Pizza Boys Player of the Week. So enjoy that pizza as well, my man. Thank you. <laughs>